you want me to mute everyone as well? Would you like to mute everyone? Too bad. Yeah, I, I already said so. Oh, have you? All right, okay. Yeah. Well, I might just ignore you because I'm, I'm feeling a bit uh, rebellious today. That's, um, all right, so we're on recording. Fair enough. You know, you've been recorded. <laughs> you can still speak to me for a little while. But as I was saying, you know, I've been saying to for weeks, and I said to to the lady that said, that said to me, you know, she thinks it's a bit of a not very good title. Um, and I, I, you know that I already, you know, my whole message for the last few months has been that you're already the most incredible creation. You're already a whole being. Um, you don't need to be anything else. You're already the most incredible creation. You're beautiful. And I mean that of all, all of you, Tom and David as well. David especially, because I think he's absolutely beautiful. But, you know, Leslie... Uh, but all of you, you're absolutely beautiful. And um, so, you know, if I upset anybody, I'm sorry about that. Put it down to put it down to a typo. If anyone it's a really great play on words, it should have been mind over matter. I just, it was a typo, right? It wasn't my fault. And so, uh, anyway, tonight, because when we set this, started this group up just before, well, about eight weeks before last Christmas. It was only going to be an eight week run into Christmas and all of us get on this together and encourage each other to get where you want to be for Christmas um, physically. And so it's now <laughs> nearly a year that we've been doing this every Friday. Um, so I just thought, well, let's get back to our roots and just think, and it's not about losing weight. That's why we called this creating the body, health and happiness, because there's some of you here that don't need to lose weight. And, but what we're talking about here is just taking back absolute control of our eating, the way we feed ourselves, the way we look after ourselves, really. And if it is something, if most of us, I mean, I'm, I'm going by myself because I was, when I boxed and I was in my 20s, I was a boxing, I was 10 stone seven. Um, I think if I, if I was 10 stone seven, I'd probably, I, I'd look pretty haggard, to be honest with you. Um, but it is a bit more difficult as we get older. And most of us are kind of same kind of age, except David, he's a little bit older than everyone else. But uh, other than that, we're all around the kind of same kind of age. And it does become more difficult. I mean, some of you are medical people and you know that, you know, our, our metabolism um, slows down something like 5% every year or every 10 years after you're 30 or something. I don't know. So it does become more difficult, but it's not something we cannot do if we focus on it. And I'm on it, you know, I, because I, I know it's pure vanity for me. There's no other reason, but it's pure vanity. I hate my, you know, being, being overweight. I hate it. And there's no, it's not even, oh, I don't like it. I hate being seriously overweight. And I know people would say, well, you're not. And it's okay now. And I, we can all have the excuses, can't we? I was saying to you the other week that the conscious mind we'll always try and justify why we're like we are. It doesn't want us to feel bad. It doesn't want us to feel embarrassed. It doesn't want us to feel like we're weak. So it will make excuses for why we're behaving in the way we're behaving. But they are excuses. And for me, when it comes to our bodies, whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to put on a bit of weight, whether you want to put some muscle on, or whatever it is you want to do with your body, there is only one question. How badly do I want to look or feel that good? That for me is the only question. How badly do I want this? What am I willing to do? And I know it becomes more difficult. You know, I, I, I was actually saying to me, to, to my wife today, you know, um, I'm annoyed with my body because my 28 year old self thinks that I should be able to run. It thinks I should be able to do all the things I did 40 years ago. My body doesn't agree. And I do something, I think, right, I'm gonna get on the weights, I'm gonna get, and then I think, why am I aching? What's all this about, you know? And so it does become more difficult, but it's not something we cannot do. And as I've been saying to you for a long time now, for me, this is just my transport. It's, I understand that people judge us by our transport, which is pretty shallow. People do. They will make a judgment on what kind of, what, how successful you are, depending on what you're driving. 
never mind what your body is. And people, the majority of people, I'm not saying people, everybody, because there are people out there that can see past the physical and they can see what's beautiful about us. But the, the majority of people make those judgments. We can't be affected by it, but they do make those judgments. For me, it's just transport. But I also understand that without this transport, I can't communicate with you. I can't move. I can't experience the world without this, without this body. And ultimately, it's going to break down. And it's going to perish. That's the way organisms, that's what happens to them. There's no way of avoiding that. But what we can do is look after it as well as we can. Someone said, if your body was a, if you only have one coat, you only have one coat in your life, you would look after that coat. And yet we can't, we sometimes, I'm not saying this group, because I think we've all, we've all traveled along this journey together. I think we all, feel differently about our worth and our value and we now know that our worth and our value is not based on how many pounds we weigh or how many kilos we weigh but it does matter to us if we want to be well and that's why i've, I've called this today i thought we just get back to basics i want you all tonight or today or the morning for nolene so once again, think how you want, how the kind of how you'd love to feel and how you want to be physically. And what you maybe you're not happy about now. And then we'll focus on that. All of you already know exactly what to do to create that body you want. And again, you know, I'm going to ask the question, which I think I've told you before. For me, it's the most incredible question anyone's ever asked. And it's Sandra Grace, you know, one of our, one of the people that every now and comes on here, I think she's presenting in Boston at the moment. She lives in America. Um, but her question was this, what has to happen for you to love yourself enough to treat yourself to the body and the health and happiness you want? What has to happen? for you to love yourself enough? I think it's the best question anyone's ever asked. And the next question, which is all she asked, which was equally valuable, is if you are not living that life you want now, if, you're not, if your body's not where you want it to be now, if not, why not? What is stopping you from making that happen? And I'll tell you what it is for me. Most of the time, it's the, the, my, my conscious mind going, what is the point and why bother? Who cares if you're a stone overweight or two stone overweight? Who really cares? And the prob probably the answer is no one really. And so, with things like our body, it has to come from within us. We have to find that reason. And vanity is a good enough reason as far as I'm concerned. Because if ultimately it gets you to be healthier, then I don't mind what your reason is. And as... Uh, the great motivational guru with size 12 teeth, Tony Robbins says, if you can find a big enough why to, you can always find a how to. I wish I had a smile like that. Well, I can't afford it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, I remember once that just, it just occurred to me, someone said about a, uh, Brian Clough, um, I don't even remember, some of you won't know if you're American or Australian or whatever, but it was our, one of our great football managers. And they say they've made Brian Clough the coach of, um, the coach of, I think it was Derby. 
and they say they've taken his teeth out and they fitted seats <laughs> and made him the coach because he had a big mouth. But anyway, I just don't know why I thought about that. And Tony Robbins always comes to mind when I think about that. But anyway, so if you find a big enough why to, you can always find a how to. So today, what we're going to do when we go into hypnosis is to ask that question. Why do I want this? Why is it important to me? They're the questions. And what has to happen then for me to love myself enough to treat myself to feeling that good? Some of you are coaches and some of you are therapists. And some of you are inspirational. I, I'm, I could name a lot of you here that are inspirational. And people look to you and go, whether, whether they're consciously thinking it or not, there is kind of a credibility gap if, if you're not living that life you want. I, for me, I know I'm a zillion miles away from perfect, trust me. But I do feel, whether, or, whether it's true or not, that people, some people look at me and go, well, is he doing it himself? When I'm saying to you that you can create a body you want, there is a lack of credibility if I'm sitting here and I'm not happy with my own body. And I think it's the same for all of us. If we're working with people and we're saying to people, you can achieve what you want, you can have the life you want, it doesn't mean that we have to be living the perfect life ourselves. But we should at least kind of strive to be as healthy as we can be and be as well as we can be. Let go of our own limitations, let go of any of our own fears. And we have great people in this group. And I'm sure if you if there are limitations you have, I doubt you have many now because you've been working at me for months. But if you have any limitations left, then you can reach out to each other. You know, we've got some great therapists in here and great hypnotists in here. And, you know, as a group, you could probably reach out and say, could you give me, you know, um, you know, uh, can you just give me some time? Just get me on my way with this. Um, anyway. So anyway, it's mind over fat. I mean, mind over matter um, tonight. And uh, how can we create that body we want? We can all go and live with Tess, 42 degrees, and just melt the excess weight off. We can do whatever Doreen's doing, because whatever Doreen's doing, it's absolutely working. Look at Doreen. Look how great she looks. Yeah, she's definitely got mind over fat going now. Looks great. So look, we, you know, we just think about this tonight. Think about our why. I'm going to get you to ask that question. What has to happen for me to love myself enough? And I know if you're new to this group, I've said it before. It's one of those things, especially in the UK. If you're brought up in the UK, it's used as a derogatory term. Oh, look at her. She loves herself. Look at him. He loves himself. What they should be saying, look at her, how fantastic. She loves herself. Look at him. How incredible. He loves himself. We should be doing that. As I've said to you, there's enough people out there in the world who want to beat you up without you doing it yourself. Be kind to yourself. Treat yourself to the health you want, the life you want. Get into this with me tonight. Each of you have got different goals. And some of those might not be to, to lose weight. It might be to get more toned. It might be just to feel healthier. So I'm going to run a few things tonight. I am going to run quantum healing. And I know for some of you, you think, well, oh, I'm perfectly healthy. I don't need to be, do any healing. And that's probably OK. But whatever your, your unconscious mind if it's of no use to it, it will probably go off shopping somewhere. Your unconscious mind will take on board everything that's needed for you. So if there is any underlying things that are going on, and I know for some people it might be, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? An underactive thyroid or an overactive thyroid. And I've heard that from a lot of my clients who are overweight. When the truth of the matter for most of them 
it's an overactive knife and fork that's the problem rather than an overactive thyroid. And, uh, and I do have a cure for that. So if you have got an overactive knife and fork, tonight we're going to slow it down a bit. So we're going to aim a few things at it, right? Get you thinking about where you want to be. Get you to understand just how incredible you are, how loved you are. Know that you're worth doing this for. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim some quantum healing at any underlying problems that might be stopping you from achieving your physical goals and just get into this with me, all right? Look on it as time out. Understand that while we're here, you're all that matters to me. And we are going to be meeting up at some point. You know, I'm, I am going to, I am going to hire some kind of super tanker or something, some super yacht. And I'm going to sail around the world collecting each of you if we go around. So how good do you want to look in your speedos, David? That's the question. <laughs> Gain has just pictured that and she can't stop laughing now. Anyway, I've got my gold lame speedos ready, I tell you. And I, you won't want to see me in them as I am now. So that's my goal. So look, you know, think about where you want to be. Think how good you want to feel. And let's just get into this with each other, right? So what I'd like you to do is this. When you're ready to create that body you want, to create the happiness you want, create the life you want, I want you to just get comfortable. We're going to do something different tonight, give you another experience of hypnosis. And I know you're going to love this. And if you're a hypnotist and you're not using this technique, it might be something you can learn tonight. But I want you all to do this. I want you to just take your right hand and put it about three inches from your face. I think that's about what, 60, no, I don't know, six centimetres or something in real money. So that's three inches from your face. And just look up at your hands and focus on one line or one spot on your palm. And as you look at that spot and you listen to my voice, you're going to feel that hand starting to move towards your face. And as that hand moves towards your face, I want you to notice the changing focus of your eyes. And as you become aware of your eyes, close your eyes. As you become aware of your eyes, close your eyes. In the moment, that hand's going to touch your face. And when it touches your face, your mind and body are going to drop into the most profound, wonderful state of hypnosis. That's right. Deeper, deeper, deeper down. That's right. Imagine it's happening automatically. And in a moment, your hand's going to drift down, but it's only going to drift down as quickly as you can enter into the most profound state of hypnosis. That's right. Nothing bothers you. Nothing affects you. Nothing disturbs you. All that matters now is you, the sound of my voice, and creating the life that you want, the happiness that you want. It's right deeper and deeper into that wonderful feeling. Just for a while, nobody wants anything, no one expects anything, and there is nothing for you to do but to relax. Remembering those experiences of hypnosis you've had with me before, and how it's felt to sit and listen to my voice speaking to you. Remembering the words and the sounds and how it felt as you drifted into that wonderful space. Imagine that's happening automatically. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. Just dropping down through space and time. Less and less aware of yourself as a physical being but totally aware of yourself as a mind. And that mind drifts without boundaries, without borders, without limits. Let go of every limiting belief, every negative belief that's ever held you back. And just for a moment, allow yourself the pleasure of thinking how you wanna be. Let go of any limitations for a moment. Think how your body's going to be when you've created the body you want. Think how your life is going to be when you create that life you want or the happiness you want. 
allow yourself that pleasure get a sense of yourself out there having achieved it and get a sense of yourself stepping into that body now and feel into it notice the way you move and the way you breathe Maybe the extra energy, the extra strength, the feeling of confidence, that feeling of achievement. Get a sense of that now. An absolute understanding of just how incredible you are. Because I'll say it again, you are the most incredible creation in the known universe. You are already a whole being and you are love, and you are loved, and you are loving. Get a sense of that now. And then ask this question, how much fun is that? How much fun can you make it? And how important is it for you to be as healthy as you can be? To be as happy as you can be? And to understand it's okay to be happy. No matter what's going on around us, it's okay for you to be happy. Get a sense of it now. And look back to now and notice the things that you did along the way that led to that happiness, led to that well being. Get a sense of that now. You're already a whole being. You're already beautiful. You are the most incredible creation. And in a moment, you're going to have that incredible feeling of liberation as the essence of who you are. That intangible part of your being, the passenger, the observer, the part of you that is pure light and love separates for a while from that physical body in that chair. Get a sense of that happening now, just leaving your body in that chair for a while. And once again, notice as you drift away from your body, notice that the essence of who you are, that pure light and love that's housed within that physical being. The essence of who you are is ageless. It has no age. It is infinite. It has no edge. An understanding that you are not your body. You are not even your name because that was given to you. An understanding that whatever you may have thought about yourself or what you thought you were, you are so, so much more than that. And that nothing that happens to that physical body in the chair can touch you. Get a sense of that now. A new understanding of just how incredible you are. The essence of who you are is the same as it was when you first drew breath. That beautiful child that knew nothing of the world. That was just pure love and pure joy and pure life. Get a sense of that now, because the essence of who you are is just pure light and love and life. And as you drift further and further away from your body, just for a moment, look back at that body in that chair And for a moment, recognize just how incredible that body is. 
how incredible you are. Get a sense of that now. An absolute understanding of just how incredible you are. And for a moment, no, it's okay to love that body in that chair. Pure, unconditional love for that body with no judgment, no blame. How incredible are you? You are love. You are loved. And you are loving. And as you look at that incredible body, ask the question, what has to happen for you to love that body enough to show it the love and the care that it deserves? Think of all the things you've experienced because of that incredible body, the people you've met, the people you've loved, the people you've held in your arms, the pleasure you felt through your body. Think about how incredible that body is, what it's allowed you to do and experience. And make a decision now to feed it the right food. Wonderful foods, incredible, enjoyable foods that will enable you to be fit and well. Fun ways of moving and getting that heart working that will enable you to be as well as you can be. As your mind is clear of all of the limitations all of the blame, all of the judgment. And you get to that point of ease with yourself, at peace with yourself. And in that space of peace, make a decision to also look after that body as well as you can. To love your body, you know it's okay to love your body. And to know it's okay to love yourself, that part of you that dreams and has ideas and makes plans. And be kinder to yourself, completely non judgmental of yourself. Get a sense of that ease now. What has to happen for you to love that body enough to treat it with the kindness that it deserves, with the love that it deserves, to take the time out to feed that body properly, to give it the right hydration, to give it the right exercise. Get a sense of it now. And as you get that sense of that feeling now, your body is making whatever adjustments are needed. And as you drift in that space, I'd like to ask the part of you that is responsible for your immune system, the part of you that runs that automatic healing ability that's been doing that maybe from the moment you were conceived that does it every day and it never sleeps it's always looking out for you but every now and again through environment through emotion sometimes through genetics there's a breakdown in that communication there's a block so i'd like to ask the immune system to allow me to communicate directly with every cell, every molecule, every atom, every neuron of your body and mind. I'd like to ask those cells to reconnect any communication that will allow you to be well. Allow that healing to begin 
if any healing is needed, to make whatever adjustments are needed at a molecular, cellular, hormonal level that will allow you to create the body you want and to have the life you want, have the happiness you want, do it now. And you may become aware of certain sensations in your body as those changes take place. Get a sense of that feeling of well-being growing. Imagine it's happening. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. As those cells reconnect that communication that will allow that healing to begin. That will allow you to create the body you want, whatever that is. Get a sense of it happening. You may become aware of certain tingles in your body, your hands, your feet. And even if at first you have to pretend it was something that was said to you, something that was done to you, you really have no choice. That feeling of well-being continues to grow. Feel it now. You have an incredible unconscious mind. It wants you to be happy and it wants you to be well. That is what it's there for. And it will do everything to make that happen for you. But it needs a clear direction. You have to state what you want instead of what you don't want. So in your own mind, as you drift even deeper into hypnosis, let go of any limitations in your own mind. State what you want for yourself. And let go of any limitations. How you want to be, your health, your body, your happiness, just say in your own mind what you want. Let go of any limitations. In your own mind, ask your unconscious mind to make it happen. Now, once again, go out into the future. And get a sense of yourself out there. Having created that. And understand you've already created the body you're in. You did that. Now think about where you want to create next. Get a sense of yourself out there, having done that. And notice the way you move and the way you breathe. Step into that body once again and feel into it. Get a sense of how good that feels. And once again, ask the question, how much fun is that? How much fun can you make it? How important is it for you? Get a sense of it now because everything about you is now inclined toward making that happen. Because your body and your mind wants you to be happy. That's what it's geared for. It just needs a clear direction. Because now you know where you're going. And now you know how good you're going to feel when you get there. It's not a force on this planet that's going to keep you from achieving that goal. You want your body to be well. You want to feel good about yourself. And you have a right to feel good about yourself. You have a right to love yourself. From today, you will be kind to yourself. You'll take care of yourself because you know you are worth doing it for. Every negative voice that's ever been placed on you is swept from your mind, replaced by my voice. See what I see when I look at you. Believe what I believe about you. And if from today anyone tries to place any doubt on you, or if you try and place any doubt on yourself, 
your biz farm standing right beside you, my arm around your shoulder, whispering in your ear. You are incredible. You are love. And you are loved. And you are loving. And you'll feel my energy, you'll feel my strength, and you'll know that I mean it. And every other voice, negative voice in your head will be silenced. It was only ever someone else's opinion. It was never true. You are beautiful. You are incredible. Go with your unconscious as often as you need to. And notice those changes taking place in your body and mind now. A feeling of empowerment. As you take back full control of you, every negative voice silenced. How do you try and remember what it felt like? Further away those voices go. Every limiting belief has gone from your mind. Every irrational fear or doubt that's ever held you back. Get a sense, get a sense of me dragging those imposters out into the light. Pulling them out by the root and all. And notice them just dying in that sunlight. It cannot stand the light. Get a sense of that now. Every one of your irrational fears or anxieties every doubt was ever placed imagine me dragging them out from the shadows into the sunlight and watch them frazzle because they cannot stand the light and no matter how hard you try remember what it felt like to doubt yourself the more fearless you become Imagine that's happened and there's nothing you can do about it. To create the body you want and the health you want and the happiness you want. From the center of your being and the belief you're already a whole being, you're already beautiful, you're already incredible. And from that platform of strength and belief, you can create that life you want. place of ease and peace with yourself. Get a sense of that now. As you drift deeper, deeper, deeper down into that space. Absolute bliss. Every limitation that was ever placed on you is gone. Every irrational fear that ever held you back swept from your mind. Just for a moment, allow yourself the fun. Imagine we're all on that yacht. Try not to think about David and his speedos. Imagine we're all on that yacht and we're all meeting each other and we're all feeling great. We're free of all our own limitations and doubts. Get a, set, set, get a sense of that happening. How incredible is that going to be? Now you know where you're going. Now you know how good you're going to feel when you get there. It's not a force on this planet that's going to keep you from achieving that goal. You are love and you are loved and you are loving. Imagine that healing is taking place. Imagine it's happening and there's nothing you can do about it. I feel that feeling of well-being growing stronger and stronger. Taking you to that space of total bliss, that place of inner peace and ease. 
a place where you are completely non-judgmental and nothing, any judgment from anyone else cannot touch you. That understanding, you are not your body. You are far, far more than that. But you will look after your body, you will take care of it, you will love it, and you'll be kind to it because your body is worth it. Go with your unconscious often as you need to, to know that you're free. Free to be. Only when the unconscious mind knows and has made those changes at a molecular, cellular, neurological level that will allow you to hold that freedom, to hold that feeling of ease and peace at the core of your being. And once again, I want you to think of a moment of gratitude. Maybe gratitude for your body. Maybe gratitude for your feet. How incredible your feet. How many places have you been because of your feet? How many people have you met because of your feet? How incredible your feet. How undervalued are our feet? Just think for you about that for a moment. Think of a moment of gratitude. Someone you met some place you've been, something that happened. Think of that moment of gratitude now and feel into it. Feel into it. Get a sense of that now. And now, once again, you know how to do this. Reach up with your right hands while you're reaching up for the stars. Reach up and grasp that feeling of gratitude with that right hand. and pull it into your heart. Put your left hand over your right hand, feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude. That's right, just for a moment, it's okay to love your body. Be grateful for your body. And feel that feeling of gratitude flooding your heart and your body. Now, once again, think of a moment of laughter of pure, unbridled laughter. Try not to think about David and his speedos, but think of another moment of laughter where you can just smile and laugh and feel great about yourself. And reach up and grasp that thing of laughter with that hand. Pull it into your heart. Feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude and laughter. Put your left hand over the top of your right hand and feel that feeling of laughter and gratitude flooding your body now. Feel it spreading to every cell into the very marrow of your bones. And now think of a moment of love, of pure, unconditional love for someone, something, but think of a moment of pure love when you, you, maybe you received that unconditional love. Think of that moment now, feel into it. Feel into that feeling of love. And once again, reach up with that right hand, grasp that feeling of love and pull that into your heart. Put your left hand over your right hand and feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude, laughter and love. Let that fill you up. Feel it spreading through your body. And notice as your body is flooded with that feeling of love and gratitude and laughter, that every doubt, every limitation is gone because those limitations and irrational fears and doubts cannot coexist in your body and mind with that feeling of gratitude, laughter and love. And let that feeling of love and gratitude and laughter flood your body, allow yourself, indulge yourself in that feeling and let that incredible body experience it now. 
and go with your unconscious self as you need to to know that you are incredible and you are beautiful and you are love you're already a whole being Go as often as you need to, to know that you're free. Free to be, free to be happy, free to create the body and the health you want. Because in a moment, I'm going to count to 10. Every suggestion I've given you, your mind and body will act upon. On eight, your eyes will open. But this feeling of gratitude, laughter and love, that feeling of freedom is going to grow stronger. And on 10, that feeling of freedom is going to stay with you and grow stronger day by day. As you take care of yourself, take care of that incredible body, look after it, feed it the right food, Give it the right hydration and wherever you get the opportunity, get your heart working because you are worth it. So get ready. On eight, your eyes will open. You are going to feel incredible. And on 10, that wonderful feeling of joy and happiness is going to stay with you. You're going to take it into everything you do, even if it's just to annoy the neighbours. So get ready. One, feeling absolutely wonderful. Two, to create that happiness and that life that you want. Three, feeling of freedom from every limiting belief that was ever placed on you. Four, feel the force of that love, laughter and gratitude flooding your body and your mind. Five, feeling incredibly alive now. Six, seven, eight, eyes opening feeling absolutely incredible. Nine, 10. Excellent. Tom's smiling. He looks like he enjoyed it. Thank you. Good, Thank you. good. Okay, look at me all, all of you. That vision of David and his speedos is gone. It's okay, you can go on your lives now. <laughs> I didn't want you to be stuck with that over the weekend. Mind you, Gaynor looks like she'd like to be stuck with that vision. But look, anyway, look, you know, enjoy your weekends. Um, look after yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Understand you're worth looking after. And it's great to see you all. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. If you, I, don't, I think most of you are either members of our JHA. Um, hands up if you're a member, if you're not. You're all members? OK, for those of you who are not, if you'd like to be able to help people out of pain, we're running a four hour arrow technique workshop on Sunday. It's four to eight UK time. If you're not already a member, you can join up for free. And then you can, you can take part in that. You can have that. It's, it's a certificate course. So it's one of those words I always struggle to say. It's a certificate course. But you will get a certificate at the end of it. And um, if you're not already there and if you're if you're not already a member and I, I think you all are actually but if you're not already a member then within that 14 days of free membership you can take part in the first unit of our diploma course in which we teach you how to hypnotize and then you can cancel your membership you'll be able to hypnotize people take them out of pain make yourself a fortune and say goodbye freddie or you might like to be a member who knows but if you're members, and, I, and we've just started this thing, it's an affiliate scheme. So if you are a member, and I know a lot of you, some of you are, and I know you love the course, if you're talking to someone else about doing the course, then get, the, get, speak, get that thing from Anthony and sign up to the affiliate thing. It's free to do. But then if anyone does sign up to do our course, you get 20% of that, of that yearly fee. I think today someone, the first person's, sign someone up, I think they got 70 quid or something. So, you know, as my grandmother would say, it's better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. So, uh, you know, if you if you think about telling anyone about it, then come up an affiliate, give me your number. And if they do sign up, you know, you'll, you'll get 70 quid or something. I don't know. 
and who save it up for when we all meet on a yacht because you're buying the drinks. So you might need that 70 pound. Anyway, look, I'm rambling on here. Have a beautiful weekend. It's good to see you all. Bye, Freddie. Stay well. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you, Freddie. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you, Freddie. Thank Cheers, Freddie. Thank Bye, you, all. Freddie. Love. You are loved and you are loving. You are Love beautiful. You. We all Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.